Our next keynote speaker needs no further introduction. Let's welcome the virologist genius, Professor Adrian Kang. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, is it possible to find a cure for SARS-CoV-2? It's been a long and arduous journey, but we did it! We found the cure! One down. And many more to go. I'm Adrian, 29 this year, and I'm a research assistant. I work at Duke NUS Medical School in the program of Emerging Infectious Diseases. Almost as soon as I joined Duke NUS, I was immediately roped into researching on the COVID-19 virus. I perform basic research tasks. This includes designing and executing my experiment, as well as making sense of the collected data. As a research assistant, I spend most of the time in the lab. And that's where all the exciting things happen. Research assistants are more involved in the research process than you think. What a research assistant thinks and says holds weight. Wow. You can definitely drive the research into a specific direction. Outside of the lab, I'll be doing administrative work, such as purchasing items for my experiment. When I do have free time, then I'll either be speaking to my professor or catching up on literature reviews on what's happening in the scientific world. I have to communicate my scientific findings to the scientific community. This allows us to improve on our current experiments. In fact, we've actually published papers to show that COVID-19 is unlikely to be transmitted via tears. Another highlight would be being able to publish my first authorship paper to prove that an antiseptic solution was able to kill the virus up to 99.99% within 30 seconds. I first did my diploma in chemistry and then continue on with a degree overseas in biological sciences, majoring in microbiology and immunology. I then pursued internships both overseas and locally before getting my role here at Duke NUS. We always like to upgrade ourselves and we'll pursue postgraduate studies. With a master's, you become a research associate. And with a PhD, you become a research fellow. You publish more papers and slowly work your way up towards becoming a full tech professor. Analytical skills are a must. Research assistants must critically analyze literature, pull data together, and notice the trends. Because these trends, however big or small, can lead you to groundbreaking discoveries. Always ask the question why. Why? 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 Why does this work this way or why does this work that way? There's a lot of opportunities out there for you. And a lot of professors and researchers are more than happy to take you on board. All you have to do is ask. Research integrity is essential in science, largely because you wouldn't want to be publishing data that could potentially mislead others to think that the treatment works, when in fact it doesn't. You won't be successful at experiments right off the bat. Hmm. Just remember that failure is a stepping stone to success. Learn from it and improve from there. Things will work out well. <laughs> 